number. He must have known. You know, Joey Turk called. He wants his family back. It's a roast, motherfuckers. It's a roast. You don't like it? You should have voted for that motherfucker. Now, every great mayor is able to point to a major construction project. Bricks and mortar that stand as their legacy. Mayor James Roth, the Palace of Fine Arts. Mayor Angelo Rossi, both bridges in Treasure Island. Joe Alioto, the Transamerica Pyramid. Even Willie Brown's got the renovation of Civic Center. Thank God Gavin Newsom can point to Randy Shaw's kitchen remodel. <laughs> Thank God. You know, we invited former Mayor Willie Brown here to say a few words. Unfortunately, tonight conflicted with his viewing of the newest Harry Potter movie. Harry Potter and the ancient politician who knocked up his fundraising. Motion. It's coming. It's only going to be a minute. Ben Spotswood. Thank you for seeing this event tonight with your partner in crime, Melissa Griffin. Thank you very much. You know, over the last several years, Beth has made no secret of her infatuation with our new lieutenant governor. But while Gavin may have a reputation for philanderer, I'm sorry, Beth. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take a look at yourself. You're not as tight. You're not as tight. You're you're a woman. But don't worry, man. There's plenty of guys with small penises out here tonight. We can hook you up with. raise the volume a little bit more for me, I couldn't hear him. Someone needs to explain to me the correlation between quitting drinking and hearing loss. Did you know that two years ago I introduced an ordinance to make it illegal for firefighters to drink on the job? Anybody remember that? Hanley fought me tooth and nail. I was pissed at that motherfucker. But now all of a sudden, I think he's got a good point. Buck Tavern opens at 4 p.m. 1655 Market Street. a new few supervisors sworn in, Woo! but I gotta tell you, for those of us who follow the politics during the last election cycle, we were very worried that the Board of Supervisors would lose most important representation from historically oppressed communities, and thank goodness Supervisor-elect Cohen is here tonight. The Board of Supervisors will continue to have Jewish representation. <laughs> Tonight, John Rizzo, community college board member, Gabriel Holland, Julian Davis. You know, I was thinking to myself, one of you guys should definitely win this thing, unless Jane moves into the district to run against him. Thanks for being here. 
Hopefully you're right. I'm proud every time I look over and at, at him at the Board of Supervisors. I'm not sure if you know this, but some people call John Alphalos the Latino George Clooney. It's not what you think about it. John toils day in and day out. He works in the trenches. He has almost no money at all. You know, on second thought, he ain't the Latino John Avalos. He's the Latino John Avalos. He ain't the Latino George Clooney. He's the Latino John Avalos. I fucked it up. He ain't the Latino George Clooney. He's the Latino John Avalos. I fucked it up. Don't use your politics to take its toll on you physically. Politics can take a toll on you physically. Have you seen Michaela Elliott appear lately? She looks worse. She looks worse in a wheelchair than August Longo. to a big round of applause. You know, it may be an insider thing, Rich. but one of David's pet peeves is being called the Chinese Barack Obama. Because if you think about it, Barack Obama is just some mediocre politician who just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Oh. swirling around City Hall that David Chu is gay. <laughs> Have you heard that rumor? Yes. You know, I'm not, I'm, I heard that rumor, but I'm a pretty direct guy. So, uh, David Chu and I were talking, and I said, hey, Dave, what about this rumor that you're gay? And he says, it's not true. You know, it's actually a funny story. When I was in college, I met a friend of mine in a gay bar, and I was spotted, and, and that's where the rumor started. And even though it was the gayest answer to the question I've ever heard, <laughs> I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair to David Chu that people keep propagating this rumor that he's gay. Okay, I mean, just because he fucked there and pested. <laughs> people in San Francisco press corps. I'm still pissed we couldn't book Cheryl Jennings. If Pete Wilson weren't dead. Is Pete Wilson still dead? Couldn't we get that motherfucker up here? Hey, noise. During your little presentation, I have expected some member of San Francisco to come up and push you off the fucking stage. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> Gavin Newsom. You know, Dan Noyes is the same old mother as my parents at the University of Maryland. And if you college, college basketball, you know that the fans at the University of Maryland are known for crazy shit, like throwing batteries at their opponents. That would have been even more awesome. <laughs> and Carolyn Tyler went to the University of Wyoming. So I thought about that for a moment, I'm like, Wyoming? So I Googled, how many black people are there in Wyoming? And Google said Carolyn Tyler. <laughs> My old time aide, Raquel Redon, yes, I know. Position of 
a solidarity organization in the Philippines that the United States State Department declared a terrorist organization. Did you know that? But after she came to work for me, that organization kicked her out. <laughs> this is Ross Mercurini's district, and I think that he's a living example of the rough and tumble world of San Francisco politics is really not suited for new parents. I mean, just take a look at his political career. Speaking of kids, I wish that were a joke. Speaking of kids, Gavin Newsom named his daughter Montana. Just to the strippers that are here. Is that a stripper name? I'm just asking the question. Thank you to the dynamic, wow, the dynamic duo of Beth Spotswood and Melissa Redhead. Together? <laughs> oh my goodness, you look nervous with that question. No, not you, Chubby. The one with the career. <laughs> so it seems like for the last year and a half, Fairfield has found itself in San Francisco's crosshair with big city columnists and editorial boards taking cheap shots at the little city to the north. It seems like our own little invasion of Granada. It's been pretty crazy to watch the shots taken at Fairfield, but what I found when I investigated a little further is that the interesting thing is that these shots always seem to be coming from white San Franciscans. Black and Latino San Franciscans don't make fun of Fairfield. That's where they have Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay. Yeah. 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 But the truth is that Fairfield's murder rate is as high as San Francisco. The only difference is that Fairfield PD solved some of their homicides. My little boy is an infant. This is this is the end. This is like the bar meeting. What you expect? You know, when my son was an infant, I famously told the landlord lobbyist to fuck off, and it got me in a little bit of trouble. But if you've ever been a new parent, with all of those sleepless nights, you may be able to appreciate what I really wanted to say to that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. You motherfucking piece of shit. I will rip your fucking head off, place my newborn infant on top of your neck, and have him take a meconium shit down your pulsating throat cavity. That's right. A meconium shit, motherfucker. Intestinal epithelial cells, manugo, mucus, amniotic fluid, and bile. Meconium shit, motherfucker. Down your pulsating throat cavity, motherfucker. You know what I call that one? I call that one the aristocrats. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.